So now just imagine, still the extension process, right? Eh? Now you have the normal DNTP, so DNTP, you also have the DDNTP. And you have millions of copies of the PCR product, correct? Okay, so everything happened in the same time. So maybe for one PCR product, they start the extension with the normal one, okay? And then only until, until, when? until this one is a DDNTP, then they stop there, okay? Then the, for another strand of the PCR product, because it's million copy, right? Maybe it's still, un still very, it's very unlucky, they just stop at the very beginning. Okay? So you imagine this, this reaction happened in a million of copies. Okay? At the end of the day, you will get the end product which have different length. Okay? Now you know that if you run this one in the gel, you can see many bands. So the one that is smaller will move faster. Okay? The one that is longer will move slower. Okay? Then you have this band. Okay? So if you run in a gel, that is a gel. If you make a well, you put all this thing in. Okay? Then you will see after the, some time, you will find one band, two band, three band. Okay? So when they do this, they do not put, not they put they, for the reaction, they put all the DNTB, right? The normal ADCG. And then for one PCR product, they divide into four. Okay? For everything is the same, except that for this one, they only put DDATP. For this one, they only put DDCTB. Okay? And so on and so forth. Okay? So they are different. So one, they divide into four different tubes, okay? So that means that for this one, the first one, <coughs> the allocation, the extension will stop when there's a A, correct? For this one, the allocation will stop at the place where the last one is T, okay? For this one is C, for this one is G. Okay? So this is how it looks like. Okay. So let's say this, you don't really know the sequence, eh? You just imagine it. So now they show you, but actually you don't really know the sequence. Okay? So you should not read the sequence. Okay. So this is the length, different length, right? Okay? So the reason they show you the sequence just for you to understand. So different length, right? But they are from the same PCR product, eh? So you can see the last character is always A, correct? This one is always T. This one is always C. This one is always G. Okay? So after that, you put in a gel. Okay? You put in a gel. So this one, you have two fragments, right? But you don't really see it. Okay? You only run the gel, you can see it. Okay? Then this one is, have two fragments, so you should have two bands. This one also two fragments, you have two bands. This one also two, you have two bands. This one also, this one have one, you only have one band. Okay? You put it in different well because they run in the same gel with the same voltage. So the one with the same length, you move together. They will stop at the same place. After you stop, uh, when you stop the electrophoresis. Okay? So which one is the shortest one? This one, right? So this one should be this one, uh, right? The second shortest? This one, right? So it's this one. Okay? The third one? A. But you, you don't know what is an A, whatever, right? Just know that they stop there. And they stop based on their different size. Different size. So what you can do, you can start to read this. The first character must be C. Second one? T. Third one? A. A, G, C, T. Then you can, can read the sequence. This is what we call the change termination method. <laughs> then you can start to read this. Just now, for the one PCR product, you have to divide into four different reactions. For each one, you put a, a modified DNTP for A, T, C, G. And you run the gel for four of them. Okay? And this is still very troublesome because if you have 1,000 best pairs, if you run the gel, it's very hard for them, for them to separate clearly. 
So that's the reason why someone invented the determination method. Okay. Here, the only difference is, for the beginning, everything is the same. The only difference is when they do the reaction in the PCR, they put all the DNDB, DDNDB, ATCG, the modified one. Okay. And for each one, they label them with the uh, with a molecule. Okay. When the molecule is exposed under the laser, they will appear in a different color. Okay. Maybe A, they can read the color. They cannot read the molecule, right? But they can read the color. C, T, A, G, for example. Okay. So it's the same thing. So the only difference now is, just now you separate them, you have four tubes, right? And you lock them. Now it's only one tube. You still have many different fragments. Okay? And then you run the electrophoresis for all this. It's not on the gel anymore, but using the capillary. Just like a tube. In the capillary, there's a polymer, just like a gel, liquid. Okay? And then you have the positive and negative. Then after that, the molecules start to move. The one that is shorter fragment, smaller fragment will move fast, faster. Then after that, here there's a camera. If you reach here, they will start to uh, shoot the laser. But the laser is always on. Okay. When the molecule reach here, oh, it's red color. Then the camera will capture. Okay. Then after that, the second one come here. It's blue. The camera captures blue. Okay. Now you have the color like a rainbow, but you only have four color. Okay. Blue, green, yellow, for example. Then after that, use a software to read this. Okay. Blue means a. The next one is P. Okay. So everything is automatic. So this is a diagram. So it's the same thing. So now you still have different fragments. But everything mixed together. ATCG, you don't know what is it. But somehow you know what is the color. Different color represent different nucleotide. Where you stop. Okay. Where the, where the extension stop. Then after that, this thing move to here. Then you have the color. Then there's a laser here. Always on, then you have the detector. So this is a camera. Okay. Then the computer will analyze the output. So something like this. Okay. So this is a, how the, if you do it as a gel, this is how it looks like. This part. Okay. This one is a gel, right? If you use the chain termination method. Okay. And this is how it looks like when you use the dye termination method. You will see this, but somehow you will not read this. You will ask the software to interpret. Then the software will give you this. Then after that, from here, they will let you know this is an ATCG. Okay? So this is all about the principle. So for the whole DNA study, for the lab protocol, first is the DNA extraction, about one to two hours. Then after that, you do the PCR, two to three hours. Before doing the DNA sequencing, we want to do the PCR purification. Because in the PCR, just now you already see that they love the hydrogen. Okay? They are love the DNTP and use DNTP. Okay? And they are million of the copy that you want. So we need to do a purification. There's a protocol you can, you can do. It's about half an hour to one hour to remove all other things that you put in, in the PCR, first seven ingredients, and only keep the PCR product. Okay? After you have the PCR product, you can you need to do the cycle sequencing. The cycle sequencing actually is a PCR that I show you. The modified PCR. They use the same primer, but somehow they put a normal DNDP, ENDP, and also the modified DNDP, DT, NDP. Okay? Then after that, you have the fragment. After that, you still need to do a purification because the laser is very sensitive. You remove all the DNDP, DT, NDP that is not used. Okay? Then you keep those product. Okay? Different fragment. Then after that, you put in the machine. Then the machine will run for two to three hours, then it will give you a result. So if you see the whole process, it just take a few hours, one, two days. Okay? Maybe just two working days. So for the step three until six, it's a DNA sequencing procedure. So you have the kit, something like this. So this is for you to do the purification. It's very simple. Then this is for you to do the DNA sequencing. Okay. Then this is for you to do the purification. And this is the machines. 
So I just explained briefly. So just now you see this one, right? So this is where you put your sample. Okay? Then after that, you put the tray the, with the sample here. Correct? And there's a capillary, you see this? Okay? Then they will inject your sample and start the electrophoresis. So the one that's with smaller fragment will move first. You reach to the laser first. The one the longer fragment will reach later. And here there's a laser and there's a detector. Okay? Then after that, they will go to the computer and analyze all the results. Okay. So hopefully now you at least you can explain briefly the discovery of the DNA. Okay? The method to study of the genetic variation before the DNA sequencing was used, and also the principle of the DNA sequencing.